Um, now I have to come up with a way to position these holes on the table so I can clock off them when I'm going to do the other end. And the way I plan on doing that is to put uh, bolts in two of the holes. And I've got these uh, half inch socketed cap screws. They're an inch long. Um, I've measured the heads of the two that I selected and they're the same diameter within about well, less than half a thou. Um, I'd check the run out between the thread and the, the head um, on them and it's small the vibration you get there that there's actually writing stamped on this diameter uh, so that causes it. I think from looking at this the run out is about three thou realistically the other one was a little bit less so three thou total indicated run out means that the head is one and a half thou out of position from the threads so again a very small amount so the diameters of the the head of the bolt are the same the run out is fairly small so what I can do is put that in and there is a, another source of error which again will be fairly small and that's just whether the thread actually the bolt actually centers in the thread completely but you know all this error together may put these two bolts out of position relative to the threaded holes by two three maybe three or four thou maybe even five thou at the most um the taper locks the hole for the bolt is 570 thou in diameter so there's 70 thou clearance so the bolt hole could be um 35 thou out of position and it would just go in so the worst case for me is that i may be out about five thou which is one seventh of what would probably be acceptable here so i'm pretty happy with this setup now the, the way it works is i'll have these bolts in i'll take this end and i'll set it on the milling machine table and the table will it'll sit on this surface on the table and then if my ruler was the edge of the table the bolts will hang over the side of the table and i'll push them till they touch the edge and what that does is that essentially uh, makes it so that a line drawn from the center of this hole to the center of that hole will be parallel to the travel of the table. And from that, I then know where the holes are relative to one direction of the table movement. And then I can figure out where to place the holes from that. And that's my method for clocking this um, so I can get these holes lined up. I've done it once before. I, I actually... About two years ago, I, I made a brand new shaft for these guys. They buggered one up really bad, cracked it kind of from one end to the other. And uh, I made one for them out of 4340 heat treated stress relief, a much stronger material. And I had the same issue. I had to position the holes in each end. And this was the method I used then and it worked well. So I'm just gonna do it again on this one. Now I flipped the shaft end for end and set it back on the milling machine table. Um, you can see under here the, the bolts are there. I haven't pushed them right up against the table yet, but it's just a simple matter now of sliding them over until they both make contact. And then I can tighten the clamps down. And now I know, I've, I put a marker here so I'd know where the original holes were. Now I know where my holes are. I know that these two are parallel to the travel of the table. And now I can come up here and pick the center up again and then position my bolt pattern so that it uh, lines up with the other one. Okay, so it's mounted to the table. The two bolts here are touching the edge. I confirm that they're up hard against the edge of the table. It's clamped and it's sitting flat. I've picked up the center of this 
Uh, I've moved out just so the light's better for the camera, but I have the center now, so now I can um, I can enter the coordinates into my bolt circle function and uh, set up to drill these new holes. Now, what I just did as more of a check that I'm I've got this set up correctly. Um, I take this taper lock here and you know pretend that it's in here in the shaft we know that the uh, two bolts here are parallel to the table because of the bolts we have in the bottom so we say that this is the one that's going to go in there we align these with the edge of the table and we see the keyway is off to this angle here so then we grab the other taper lock and we know that we have to get the keyway lined up. So we set it on top so the keyways line up and we see that the bolt hole is directly in front of us. So the ones at the bottom of this shaft are here and here and we need to put one right in the middle of them. So now we've confirmed what the orientation of the holes are for this end. We can actually see that I, I went and just put them in with a marker. Um, I won't actually have to change anything on my bolt uh, pattern that's in my digital readout because I'll be coming straight out to drill the hole here like I did the last time. Um, and even though I'm drilling it in the same spot as I did on the other side, the shaft has been indexed. So it will not be lined up with the holes I drilled earlier. It'll be offset 60 degrees, which is the correct amount. You have to go back to the center on the readout. You have to go back to zero, zero before you enter the bolt circle function because it will assume the center of the hole is wherever you have the table sitting when you go to enter it. So you have to put the table back to the center of the shaft, then start the bolt circle function. Otherwise, it won't be around the center of the shaft. So go back here and I selected it uh, five inch diameter that's unchanged that's still in there from the last time number is three angle to the first hole is the same and then we just load hole number one and it says we have to come straight across on the y-axis so it's all pretty straightforward now Well, the shaft is now completed. I've put the taper locks in the end just to confirm that I put the holes in the right spot. And you can see, if we look down here, you see that both keyways line up. And uh, the bolts are in the uh, bolt holes. And I'm not sure if that'll show up or not, but the jacking screws are not over top of the old bolt holes. So everything lines up. All the bolt holes have a new Sorry, all the bolts have a new hole that's in good solid material to go into. And the jacking screws have a good surface to push against. Thanks for watching.